Yes, thank you for introduction. So, hello, I'm Tao Morisaki. I'm from the University of Tokyo. So, today I talk about the hopping bone. Hopping bone, so changing trajectory of moving object so using computational ultrasound force. So, this is our concept. So, in this research, so we focused on the controlling moving real object so by using computational force. So, and in this research, we showed the ping pong ball as a moving real object and the ultrasound as a computational force. So, firstly, I show you this video. In this situation, I threw the ping pong ball only through the ping pong ball. And in this situation, the hopping pong can change the trajectory of a moving ping pong ball by using non contact ultrasound force. So, this is a Applicational situation, playing a ping pong game. So all player can show the curve ball by using hopping pong system. Okay, so firstly I talk about introduction. So this is a motivation of my research. So there are many techniques to control a real object. So for example, uh, ultrasound, and electromagnetic, and air jet. And there are non-contact uh, control, non-contact force controlled by co computer. So in the other words, so we can control the real object freely using a computer. And there are many related works. So this is related to works on levitation and mid-air display. So left one is a pixie dust, and the pixie dust levitates and manipulates the particles by using ultrasound, and the author and the user can project an image to it. So right one is a balloon. So balloon can levitate and manipulate a balloon by using ultrasound, and the user can project image it too. So these are these related works about the input and output interface of computer. So the left one is the SLN, so that it can control the magnetic ball and so using it as an interface. So and the right one is ultra tangible. So ultra tangible can two dimensionally control a lightweight object and use it inter as an interface. So, as you can see, so there's uh, many related to works uh, to control the real object. So, what so previous researchers have focused so mainly on uh, controlling a stationary object, so not moving object, stationary object. So, therefore, I think there's uh, one limitation. So, this limitation is uh, application space is uh, mainly display. So now we propose that uh, controlling the future trajectory of a moving object. So by using computational force. So actually, the controlling moving object is a technological challenge so because the two requirements. So one, first one, is high speed measurement of the 3D position of an object. So second one is high speed motion of presentation force. So second one means that so in order to control the trajectory of a moving object, so this force, this computational force must track the moving object on time. So in so in as our purpose in this research. So developing the new novel ultrasound force device, the hopping pong. So hopping pong changing trajectory of a moving ping pong ball by ultrasound. So and in this system, the so all user and the player can shoot a curved ball. Actually, hopping pong has uh, two contributions. So first one, the basic knowledge of a moving object, so over on a controlling moving object with a 2.5. So 2.5 gram means a ping pong ball. Uh, so second one means uh, proposing new application area. So this area means uh, augmented sports. And so augmented sports is a very big research area. And so there is a two fundamental motivation, I know. And so first one is a supporting beginner's prayer. 
So second one is adding computer game-like effects to sports. So the left one is a hover ball. So in the hover ball, the user can control the ball, the trajectory of the ball by building it a drone in it. So changing trajectory, and the user can through the selectively. So and so right one is a ping pong plus. Ping pong plus presents a game like effect by projecting images on a ping pong table. So now back to the, our research of ping pong. So there are three motivations of hopping pong in augmented sports area. So first one, the beginners can shoot a cup ball. Second one is maintaining beginner's motivation. So third one is supporting practice. So about third one, so for example, the hopping bone so may can guide the ball to the desired location. Okay, secondly, I talk about the implementation of the hopping bone system. This is a system configuration. The hopping bone is constituted of the nine airborne ultrasound phase array and the two high-speed camera. Ultrasound phase array is used to apply force, so and high-speed camera can detect the position, three-dimensional position of a ping-pong ball. So I today uh, now I introduce you the airborne ultrasound phase array. So what is this? So this device is constituted of ultrasound transducers, and so this device. Uh, and by controlling the phase of each transducer, this device can create a one single so high pressure point in mid air. So please look at this video. So as you can see, this device can create a high pressure point in mid air, and it's a non-contact force. Yes, and this non-contact, this presented force is about 1.6 gram force. And this partial temporal resolution is one centimeter and one kilohertz. So this is right about how to detect ping pong ball by stereo camera. There's are two procedures. So first one is so firstly that this system detects the two dimensional position of a ping pong ball using a color filter and using each camera. So please look at this figure. So this figure shows that captured image and filtered image and the result of detection. And so secondly, the system calculated the 3D position by triangulating. So this slide shows that uh, how much the applied force in the reality hopping bone situation. This is an experimental setup. In this experiment, so we suspended the ping pong ball by string, and we calculated the applied force by the inclination. So this video shows that the hot ping pong system can apply the force to the ping pong ball, and it, and the ping pong ball is stabilized. So this is a result. So the, this result shows that uh, the y dose, uh, the x, x axis shows that the x pos z position of the ping pong ball, so and y axis uh, uh, horizontal horizontal force, and so the y of the ping pong table is uh, uh, 15 20 millimeter. So therefore, we conjecture that the 0 0.5 gram force can be presented, uh, so near the center of the ping pong table. So sadly, I talk about the prediction of trajectory. So there are two types of delay in the realistic hopping pong situation. So first delay is an uh, amazing processing delay. So this delay is about four milliseconds. So second delay is about communication. So communication between PC and phase array. This delay is uh, about 10 milliseconds. So therefore, the prediction of the trajectory of a ping pong ball is necessary. This slide shows that how to predict the trajectory. So about x-axis, so we use a liner prediction from previous two frames. 
is a very simple method、so、about the y axis. So we will be fit by using a parabolic motion from the start point and the mid point and radius point of the wall of the trajectory. And so left picture shows that the result of the prediction. Uh, black dot means、uh, predicted position, and so square means that、so、measured position. So, therefore, this picture shows that the hopping pawn can't、uh, predict the trajectory. So, next, I talk about evaluation. Evaluation of the hopping pawn. We evaluated about displacement of trajectory. So, this is an experimental setup. And we, in this experiment, so we measured orbital displacement by a hop pin pong. And we throw a hop pin pong ball by a catapult and so sensing position with depth camera. So, and we throw the 10 times with and so without hop pin pong. So, we totally、uh, 20 times. This is the evaluation of the result. So, this,、uh, this blue line means that the Trajectory of a ping pong ball weighs out ping, hop ping pong. And the red line shows that the trajectory weighs hop, hop ping pong. And so that position on the end of ping pong table, so when using the sound, so it is at 1078 mm. And the way without the sound, so it is at、so、734mm. So, because the displacement is a 344 millimeter, and so the displacement is larger than a racket of a ping pong ball, so therefore we concluded that this,、uh, this displacement is enough to apply it into the realistic ping pong game. So, now I show you again this is the real,、uh, actual motion of the hop ping pong. So, hopping pawn can change the trajectory of a ping pong ball by using non -com computational ultrasound force. So, now this video shows us selective stimulation. So, hopping pawn can stimulate only so normal, so normal means orange, orange ping pong ball, so because the ultrasound focal point is very small, about one centimeter. So, look at, please look at this video. So, the orange, the orange normal ping pong ball. Only normal ping pong ball is moved. So, it's a future work. So, in future, we, we will survey on limitation of the controlling moving object. So, what type of the shape and the how much mass and what type of the material. So, there is no clear about limitation of the controlling moving object. So, we conduct it in future. And so, next one is、uh, we would like to, so also we would like to polish hopping pong as an augmented sports system. So, about the second、uh, future work, I show you the two videos. So, this situation is the same. So, this figure is the same to the situation, so to the demonstration. Our demonstration space in IHS conference. So, we set the another ultrasound device on the、uh, opponent's position. And so, all players can occur the miss shot to the opponent's player. So, here is the opponent's player, and the success, one success. So, but so, occurs mistakes. So, and another video. Success, success. But so, mistakes. So, as you can see, the hopping pawn, the, in the hopping pawn, the all player can occur the miss shot. To the opponent's player. So, that's why I show about、uh, my conclusion of my research. So, in this research, we propose to control a moving object and we propose to position to apply it for augmented sports. So, that's why we developed the Hopping Pong, the new novel ultrasound force device, the Hopping Pong. The Hopping Pong can change the trajectory of a flying ping pong ball. And to 344 millimeters、so、by using a non contact ultrasound, computational ultrasound force. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you again for、uh, your interesting talk.、Uh, questions? Yes? Hello.
Uh, Adili from uh, Sussex University. So, yeah. um, is there any safety concerns? Because I can see a lot of uh, rays yeah. over there. So, the player uh, about the safety. Safety, about safety. Uh, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, you talk about safety. Actually, so safety is a very big problem. So, but so. Actually, so the ultrasound, actually there is a no problem of safety, I think. So, but so we don't conduct it about the survey on safety. So, but so ultrasound phase array is, so firstly ultrasound phase array is developed to de produce haptic sensation. So because so if the ultrasound phase, the ultrasound focal points so attacks the human, so it is a no problem. But uh, actually it is one very serious situation. So, if so, the focal point it is uh, in, in the uh, in the ear nose. So it is a uh, dangerous, I think. But it's a very very difficult and rare situation, I think. Yeah. Oh, thank you for interesting uh, presentation. I'm Uju Kim from KAIST. Yeah. Uh, I play table tennis as yes. a hobby, so I found this research is very interesting. Yeah, thank you. But one thing that I have question is, uh, because now the ball uh, trajectory is suddenly changes at the middle stage, but in the real game, so usually this kind of case uh, almost uh, actually is impossible to happen. So maybe for a sudden change of the ball movement can uh, increase the the player's reaction speed or this kind of effect can be, uh, oh. I mean, uh, expected. But I'm, uh, what I'm worrying is if this if the opponent or player yeah. is uh, more used to this kind of dealing with this kind of sudden change of the ball, it may interrupt the. Uh, in the real practice, their uh, skill may not be exactly matched because in the real game, the ball never suddenly changes. So, did you consider this kind of real application? Uh, uh, so you talk about so the this whole ping pong is about the effect on the realistic so ping pong game, right? Yeah, yeah. So actually, it is a uh, mm, yes, yes. I I agree with so this problem. So, but so. Mm, yes, yes, so actually the hopping point has a two sides of the application, so augmented sports. So first one is that so motivating, so so it encourage the motivation of the beginner's player. Actually, so in the beginner's player, I think there's no problem. So if the hopping point changes the trajectory. But so if for the professional player, the we we propose that the different different how to use the hopping point. So, ah, uh, sorry. So, uh, actually, it is not. Uh, I think it is not suitable for the professional situation. Mm. Yeah. So, it is a, it is a problem. Maybe you propose this. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I agree. With, I agree with this problem. Yeah. It still has some uh, potential that, as you just said, uh, can uh, increase the motivation of the novice mm -hmm. player. So make. Yeah it look more fun and then if they make some more mistakes by adjusting the because you can control the amount of trajectory right yeah. the direction of the trajectory so that if they make too many mistakes then try to adjust the ball trajectory so that they can make less mistake for the novice players so that they can have a more fun and entertaining experiences mm, yeah, fun, yeah. so i think still i think this uh, uh is very uh, good uh, oh. topic so yes, thank interesting you. <laughs> topic yeah. Yeah, thank you yes thank you very much Fabrice Mitulik, uh, Preferred Networks. I kind of have a follow-up question or I guess yeah. comments. Uh, so you're, you're doing some of lateral movement here, right? You have your whatever your air-blowing uh, device, so it's basically moving the, the ball yeah, from yes, left moving to right. So this I was thinking maybe yeah. it make, it make more sense, as you were talking about helping beginners to get into the game, um, kind of slow the ball down. That's probably what you want to do, right? Uh, if the, the ball, especially table tennis, is going very fast, then you probably want the device to be behind the player so that when the, you know, like top spin ex exchanges, you know? Uh, uh, you, so, uh, you talk about so the when spinning the ball and so all the so you want to slow it fast, down. Yeah? You yeah. want to slow it down maybe for beginners. So it's, instead of having slow the ball down. moving uh, laterally. Slowing it down the uh, ball speed. Yeah. Uh, so, so for a beginner, let's say, they want to be able to return some of these like fast top spins. Yeah, fast, if, fast, if you put yeah. your device behind and then you try to slow the ball down so that they can 
Ah, yeah, back, yeah, I see, I see. I, see, I think see. rather than sort of shifting it laterally, mm -hmm. that would make more yeah, sense. Yeah. I don't know if you've tried that. Of course, there would be maybe some occlusions with the, the player being in front, but yeah, I don't yeah, know yes, if you yes, can yes, find yes. a combination with two devices on each corner of the table. I don't know. Have you tried that? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, and so actually, so it is a very interesting so suggestion. And so, so now in this, uh, uh, you said that, uh, as you said, so in, just, in the now, our hopping pong system can't only the change trajectories of this direction. So, but so, yeah, so we made the reflection areas, so reflection plates to the, the plates, so, it, so which can reflect the ultrasound. So we, we think that so another direction, the hopping pong can present the uh, ultrasound computational force another direction, so to the decrease the speed of a ping pong ball, I think. It is a very interesting thing here. Okay, so we create new kind of sport, right? Yes, yes. It, it seems like perhaps uh, following up, maybe we can have yeah. uh, maybe two, two person playing, one ah, yeah, is actually playing, playing and one is controlling the device. Ah, yes, yes. Right? Yes. Then yes. that way you can have you know, different kind of um, table tennis you can actually play, right? Ah, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. So we have another person. Yeah, ah, another, ah, no, no, another person. So, so this, uh, this yes. is a point player, and the right. player has the controller. Yeah. Player has a controller. Yeah, player has controller. Controller ah. and the racket. So the, this the device is uh, derived so the timing, so which I, I want to drive it here. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you okay. For, for a very interesting um, topic. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So let's give him another big hand. <laughs>